Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Today, we find Mama and Papa Bloom in their Hollywood apartment, waiting for Sidney and Sarah to arrive for a very important conference, the occasion of the moment being to choose names for the twins. Mama is speaking. Papa. Yeah? What are you writing? Uh, something very important, Mama. Important? Is it business? No, no, it ain't business, Mama. Then why is it important? Why? But... Mama, please stop bothering me. I'm thinking of something that I have to have finished before Sidney and Sarah get here. Let me see, Papa. Mama, please go away. I'm going to pike over your shoulder, Jake. I want to see what you're doing. No, Mama, please go up the... Jake, are you keeping secrets from me? For 25 years, we've told each other everything. Is something the matter? You shouldn't want to worry me. Nothing is the matter, Mama. I'm just trying to figure something out. With numbers? No, Becky, not with numbers. Now, let me see. His name... His Papa, name... don't make you aggravated. If you're not going to tell me what you're doing, you shouldn't bumble like that below your breath. I can't hear what you're saying. You ain't supposed to hear, Mama. I'm getting mad, Papa. Uh, Mama, in just one little minute, I'll be finished. Then when Sarah and Sidney get here, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> You'll see then. Yeah, I will see. I will see then. I want to know now. Mama, is waiting maybe five minutes going to kill you? Is being patient for just a little while going to hurt you? It is hurting me now that when I try to see what you're doing, you are covering up with your elbow the paper you're writing on. Let me see it. Uh, all right, Mama, all right. So I should get a little piece. I'll show it to you here. Hmm. Nathan Solomon... Abraham, Heim. Papa, what is this? Hmm? Are you taking an invention of your relatives? You ain't going to invite them here when the baby's his name. Mama, please, I couldn't invite them. They're dead. Yeah, so even then your relatives would come, even if they had to hunt Mama, us. look, if it's all the same to you, and if you don't mind, I want that for once you should leave my relations out of the conversation. Papa, why are you getting mad? I always leave your relations out of the conversation, but they always bring themselves in. It's just like your relations to do that. All right. All right, so we shouldn't fight about it. I'll tell you what the names are for. I'm only trying to figure out the names we should call the little boy. Oh, I see. Papa, whose baby is it? Yours or Sarah and Sidney's? Sarah and Sidney's. But ain't I allowed even to suggest a name, maybe? You got four names down here. Is the baby going to have aliens like a criminal? Mama, it would be very nice if Sidney would name the little boy Nate after my grandfather. Why? Why? Um, why? Uh, well, just because, it'd be nice. How do you know Sidney and Sarah would like the name of Nathan? There ain't nothing wrong with Nathan. It's a good old name. And my grandfather was a good man. Your grandfather, Jake, was a very lovely man. But I don't like the name Nathan. You don't like it? Becky, sometimes I don't understand you. One minute ago, you were saying that maybe Sidney and Sarah would not like it. And now you're saying that you don't like it. Who's going to get the name? You or the baby? Papa, oh, that's very foolish. Very you foolish know the thing. baby's going to get the name. You're beating around the band again. You shouldn't change the subject so much. Uh, all right, so it shouldn't be Nathan then. Maybe Abraham. Abraham was your great uncle, yeah? Yeah, he was my great uncle. Yeah. He was the one who had Magnesia. He had what, Mama? Magnesia. He couldn't remember who he was once. You mean amnesia. And he had it because he was in an accident. He couldn't help yeah, it. Yeah, there are lots of things your relatives didn't help. All right, there go my relations again. Becky, you said you wouldn't talk about them. So I won't. Uh, what's the other name you had then? Uh, Solomon. Who was Solomon? Solomon Bloom was my father's uncle. He was a good man, too. Yeah, he was a good man. Yeah, so you can't find nothing wrong with him, huh? No. That's good, Mama, that's good. Sure yeah. it is. But I don't like the name Solomon. But 
Oh, and what is wrong with it? It's too long. It's too long? Only three syllables it has got. What are you saying that it's too long for? Jake, the baby should have a name that's short. So that when he's grown up, he can have a knick-knack name. A knick yeah. So, so, Mama, maybe you got a name, huh? Maybe I have and maybe I ain't. Ah, so guessing games you're going to play with me, huh? I didn't say that. I said maybe I got a name, maybe I ain't. Uh, my grandfather's name was Misha. Misha? <laughs> Such a name. Misha ain't a name. It's an expense. To have a name like Misha, you got to learn to play the violin. I like the name Misha. You, that... Well, base me. Misha Shifley. But a name like that, he'd get no place. No, Mama, no. Papa, you can't be saying no to it until Sarah and Sidney get here. Uh-huh. So you can't be saying no to Nathan or Abraham or Solomon until they get here either. All right. So they'll stop talking until they get here. That's good, Mama. That's good. I still like Misha. I don't. I like Nathan. You said you wasn't going to talk. You said it. Don't argue with me, I'm Jay. not arguing, Mama. Then why was you talking? Ma- what? Mama, please, I'll make a deal with you. If you let me pick a name for the little boy, I'll let you pick a name for the little girl. There, how's that? I've already picked a name for the little girl. You've already picked... You... Oh, Mama, I give up. Papa, don't talk foolish. Why should you give up? Am I asking you riddles you should give up? And what name have you got for the little girl? Mine grandmother's name. Rachel. A nice name. So... You named the little girl after your grandmother, but not one little chance do I get to name the little boy after my grandfather. Ain't I one of the family? Ain't I been signing checks for over 25 years? Mm. And what happens? Not one little name can I pick out for my own grandchildren. <laughs> what kind of a business is that? <laughs> Papa, you're getting very red in the face. Loosen the collar. I will not loosen the collar. I want to get red in the face. All right, Jack, all right. So you'll get red in the face, and when Sarah and Sidney come, they'll think they're having Indians for company. You, you, you... Oh, Mama, Mama, please. Please, Mama, I like the name of Nathan for the little boy. Couldn't I please have it? Maybe, but I still like Misha. You... I don't... <laughs> there they are, Jack. Let them in. Yeah, but I see where I'm going to spend a very bad evening. What pleasure am I going to get out of life on this? Jake, don't talk, talk to yourself on the way to the door. When you open it, you shouldn't look like nine days of snow. Like hurry up, Susan, hurry up. Come in, come in. Hi, Ma. How's everything? Hello, Sarah, darling. Everything is fine. And by you? Okay, Ma. Couldn't be better. Hi, Ma. Hello, Sydney. How's the baby? Oh, great. They're terrific. Sydney babies ain't terrific. They're too little. <laughs> Wait until they grow up. Sydney, <laughs> Sarah, uh, there are the babies. Where are they? Yeah. Quite far. We left them at home with a nurse. Better nice. Oh, yeah, they see them. Oh, gosh, no, Ma. The nurse takes care of them. Oh, well, Sarah, you're our mother. You should take care of the babies. Why, that's old-fashioned, Ma. Nowadays, a mother doesn't have to do that. Everything's scientific. Scientific, she says, scientific. Sarah, your mother took care of you, and yet... Why, of course she did, Pa. I know it. Then are you different one from your mama that you can't take care of your own babies, huh? <laughs> you don't understand, Pa. Oh, Sarah, don't you love the babies? Why, what a question, of course. Then why you ain't bringing them along? What, bring them out in the night air, Ma? Why, that's the worst thing in the world for oh, them. You've sure. got to keep them warm and comfortable. It says in the book that they've got to get plenty of sleep. See, that's why we came over here. Sure. We figured that you'd make too much noise for them over at our apartment. Too much noise. Too much noise, he says. Sydney, Sarah and Yetta was little near the elevation train in New York. Even Papa don't make as much noise as a train. Even <laughs> Papa? You, you, <laughs> well, you, 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 this is different, Ma. Uh, this is modern, up-to-date. Modern and up-to-date, she says. <laughs> Sarah, listen to me. So the babies is born up-to-date. All right. Have they got up-to-date highs oh, and noses Ma. and legs and arms? Have they got up-to-date everything so that they should be different? But if a baby's born today or 25 years ago, it's still a baby. You should remember that. You should remember that times change, Ma. Times change? It's like Mama says. Times change, maybe, but babies don't change. Well, I don't know what all the fuss is about anyway. We won't stay long anyhow. Picking names for them won't take long. We got them picked already. What? What did you say? He said we've got the names picked out already. The names picked out already. Why, sure. The little boy we're going to name after my great-grandfather, Morris. Maurice. So it's still Morris. All right. And the little girl's going to be named after your grandmother, Ma, Rachel. The... The little boy is going to be named Morris. Why, sure. Don't you like that name, Pa? Huh? Oh, sure. (laughs) Sure. Morris is a fine name. A very fine name. You don't sound as though you like it, Pa. Uh, Sarah, maybe Papa had a name. No, 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 Mom. It's all right. Uh, Little boy is Sarah's and Sydney's. They should call him any name they like. We thought it was okay, Pa. Why, why, sure. Yeah, yeah, sh- sure. Gosh, you certainly don't sound as though you liked it. No. Aren't you pleased, Ma, that we've decided to name little girl after your grandmother? Uh, uh, Sydney, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm, I'm happy as a spark. What's the matter, Pa? Matter? Oh, Sarah, nothing's the matter. I, I'm very glad you got the names picked out. 
And it was very nice to, to think of Mama's grandmother. Look, look, I got an idea. Idea? What about more? I, 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 I'm thinking that maybe you should have more than one name for the little boy. Maybe one in the middle, yeah? Yeah, I guess that's okay. Morris, something, shift bang. Yeah, yeah but, but maybe the name Morris wouldn't sound so good in front. I mean, then you pick the other one. Well, what would you suggest, Ma? Uh, so it should be fair, we should do it like a lotto. Lotto? Yeah, yeah, when you pick things out of a hat. Oh, you mean pull a name out of a hat? <laughs> yeah, that's it, Sidney, that's it. <laughs> well, what do you say, Sally? Oh, it's all right with me. I guess it's as good a way as any. All right, all right. So I'll get a pencil and a paper and a hat, and I'll put the names on the paper, and you pick one, Sarah. <laughs> all right, Ma. Say, Pa, those kids are getting cuter than ever. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, uh, give me a name. I need two more. I like William. William? <laughs> Give me another one. I can't spell William. W I L L I A M. I need another name. Charles. Charles. How many have you got, Ma? Five. Oh, that's enough. That's plenty. Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, here, the name says all in the hat, and I want you should pick one, Sarah. <laughs> okay, Ma. Here goes. There you are. Want me to read it? I want you should read it. Well, it's Nathan Morris Schiffbein. Nathan Morris. That's not bad. Nathan Morris. Uh, uh, Sidney, you, you you like Nathan? Uh, sure. I guess one name's as good as another. <laughs> Nathan. So, uh, this is that. Do you like it, Sarah? Why, yes, yeah, sure I do. Ah, oh, that's good, Sarah. That's good. Well, that finishes it. Nathan <laughs> Morris, it'll be. Say, we'd better get going along, Sally. I want to see how the kids are. All right, honey. I'll see you tomorrow, Ma. Yeah, yeah. I'll drop past in the afternoon. I'll be expecting you. Good night, Paul. Good night, Sarah, darling. Good night, Sidney. Hello, Paul. Good night, Ma. Good, good night, night, children. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Mommy, you see, you see, after all, Nathan was the best name. Yeah, and you're happy, huh, Papa? Happy? <laughs> I'm very happy, Mommy. I'm glad, Papa. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, and now I'm sleepy. So we'll get ready for bed, huh? Yeah, sure, Papa. Sure, you go ahead. I'll straighten up the room. All right. Hurry up, Mama. We should get up early tomorrow. I'll be right there, Jake. Nathan Morris. Nathan's a nice name. Mommy, are you talking to me? No, no, Jake. I'll be there in a minute. Uh, maybe I cheated, but it ain't cheating to make somebody you love very happy. So what if I am putting Nathan Morris on all the little pieces of paper? Mm -hmm.